for 4D, we're going to use the quadratic formula because B, A, B, C, B is something other than 0. If there's an A and a B and a C, you want to definitely uh, use the quadratic formula. For me, I like to do this part of the quadratic formula first. What's that called? The discriminant. Okay, the discriminant is 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1. What's 1 minus 4? Negative 3. So the discriminant is negative. That tells me a week ago that would have told me there are no solutions. Now it tells me there are complex or imaginary solutions. All right? So let's go ahead and complete the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Why is this part kind of easy now? We, we predetermined it, right? We know that that highlighted answer is negative 3, so I don't have to redo all that work. What's the opposite of b? Plus or minus the square root of what's the highlighted stuff? All over 2 times 1. 2. So all you can do is this. Split it up into its real part. Can any part of this be square rooted? No, except the fact that it's negative means that an i comes out. Okay, so we're going to have negative 1 half. That's this part. Plus or minus, how do I write this part? Since it's negative, I put in i root 3 over 2. Another way of writing this would be negative 1 half plus or minus root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2 i. root 3 over 2, and then the i is listed next. 